Now, peeps, I thought I was done for the night. You know, it's almost three o'clock in the morning. I almost thought I thought I was done. But there's more to this video. So uh, I posted a video um what men want reaction. Um, this is fun. It was so funny. I couldn't find no comments. Um uh, this is Kendra G Media, so go follow her. Uh, but I saw her uh, title. I was kind of odd because I was looking in the comment section. I didn't see anything in the comment section that was negative. But I didn't know that there was another part of the video. So I'm going to play that. Let's just hear what a woman said. This is this is a typical angry, mad. I can already tell this is the, the typical angry, mad, black woman syndrome. That's basically all it is. You have a good guy that has a preference. And I'm pretty sure she's going to go and shame him. Uh, but yeah, let's watch this. I watched a little bit of it. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to react to this. So, yeah, let's let's get into this. Hey, boo. Hey, it's the hairstyles. And I'm going to tell you, what was the last guy named Michael? The last guy named was Michael. Yeah, Michael was giving very Michael Myers vibe, very scary, very unstable. Um, That's his type of, I mean, for him to say that he, you would rather have to have a small child so he can help raise, like, you know, we couldn't get, get me deep into the conversation, but what if, it seems like he would have a problem if the child's father was involved and around, like, that could be a problem <laughs> for Michael. Which in you know, and he said a couple other things too. When he said he had two cars, you know, foreign, he led with a lot of, and there's nothing wrong with being masculine, but he led with a lot of masculinity to where you know, if he was to deal with a woman that's self sufficient and has her own, it would not work. And he, he said he doesn't want a woman, he doesn't want a, he doesn't want a boss chick, he wants a woman he about because he wants a child, okay. And, 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 because he wants a child, he wants a woman that's an adolescent. He wants a woman that he can per se raise himself to. And for him to have the bare minimum to say that all you need is a car. My daughter has a car. She's 17 years old. So, you know, that's the bare minimum for a woman. Now, don't get me wrong. I agree with you have to have the four Asians. That's transportation, education, communication. And uh, I forgot the fourth one. But I, I agree I, that you. I, 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 the problem is. Occupation. Yeah, I, I, I agree that you have to have the four Asians or whatever, but he just, he didn't seem a little, you know, weird to you. He gave me weird vibes. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you know, what's interesting. I, you know, I, I like to listen. I learned so much hosting the show, but he was adamant that he didn't want anybody to have children. That's why he was going 20 years younger. Nay, I know you were getting your hair done, but I know you had an opinion too. Okay, so <clears throat> he said... <laughs> You hear me? I can hear you. Okay, real quick. Okay. Um, he so we said. Hope this on the All Black Network. She's getting her hair done. So we're going to respect the fact that that's her hairstylist. So she's not going to be on camera, but I know you had a lot to say because I saw you in the comments. Okay. Um, I feel like. Okay, his age range, which was 20, 20 to 30, 30. Which is basically you. Right. right. I'm 23, so I as me answering him, you know, just like not even just because he's acting like he he like making it mud, like like you know. So what I'm saying is, if he wants, she said that he's okay. There's so much stuff wrong with this, peeps. First off, the first person that came on, I'm I'm not even going to respond to her. That's that's a typical shaming tactics that women use. Um, you know they when a guy because see she knows that a guy like that will never be attracted to her so she has to shame him and that's the thing about the black community uh, i don't know if there's any white people that watch my channel but what you notice in the black community this is a shit that we have to deal with with people like her where if we don't want someone like you that 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 are like you immediately goes to the shaming god shame the god shame the black man for what he's looking for See, when women sit here and talk about they want a man that has six figures, that's six foot tall, have a six, you know, downstairs, men don't say nothing. Matter of fact, most men are just like, okay, whatever, and go about their business. We don't sit there and talk, say, oh, yeah, well, that give, y'all give us 
rocking the cradle vibes and all this other crap. We don't say stuff like that. And again, that's just typical. She's angry. She knows that that guy would never date her. She's single, bitter, don't like men. Typical guy. So, um, it's crazy. Like, this is crazy. Like, just like, not even just because he's acting like he, he like making it mud, like, like, you know, so. And I just want to replay that. So she said here and says that. He's acting like he's making that money. No, he's not acting like it. He's a low. This is why I say a lot of women don't know much of anything. They don't educate themselves. Shout out to all the married women out there. Glad the heck do you do not have to deal with dating. Stay married. Do not divorce. Work it out with your husband. Stop combating him. <laughs> Let him lead. You do not want to be out here in this dating scene telling you right now you do not want to be out in this dating scene leading with his he's a locomotive engineer you don't even know she don't even know how to first of all she don't know what a locomotive engineer is she don't know how much she don't even know how much jobs get paid what i'm saying is if he wanted to date someone in this generation it's a lot of 23 22 25 it's a lot of people right now that's making more money than any 30, 40, 50, and they working hard and they're very their their boss material. I see it all the time. They making their money. Yeah, we call those those people only chick fan or only fans. Only fans, TikTok, um, creators, uh, Instagram, YouTubers, Twitch, you know, the, yeah, we know. We know. Trust me, we know. They get their money. So I feel like for him to look for a female in their 20s, not even 31, 32, 33, it stops at 30. So it's like we're not even in our prime yet. Like we're getting there. So of course we're going to have that boss mentality. Of course we're going to work until, like, he, yeah, he sounds very crazy. I don't think that any female is going to go for that. I feel like any female that, <laughs> I, like I feel like he wants somebody that's not as driven and I like how she asked them to, to, to describe what woman they want like what do you see your woman being because usually they they come on here and they project a certain image but when you ask them to describe they always describe like someone that's just someone they can control and, and, and it, it, it just comes off different as to what they were saying oh, I, I want a woman she has to be you know strong encouraging and then when they describe the woman they want they always describe a slave and it's just like no a someone that is like but he never described you know that. young and impressionable and you can per se raise and it's just like if you want to raise somebody that that, that bad then get a dog you want somebody to do follow your every <laughs> command adopt a puppy because women these days we running shit and it's just men have a hard time you know coming into a house with a woman that makes money some men feel the need that they have to fight for you know masculinity of the house and and that's not true because i'm gonna rewind back because she just said something interesting she what she's talking about is is craziness so this is the type of woman that we try to avoid you know these type of women that they always got something to say. When a guy has a preference, why does it even concern you what the guy wants? The guy wants a feminine woman. He wants a feminine woman. He ha he was freaking married to a woman who was submissive, that was feminine, that, that had a certain way. Why would he subject himself? And again, he dated someone that was, uh, how she was 27 and he was 39, so she was... Uh, I can't do math, by the way. <laughs> so the woman is like, you know, 12 years young, uh, younger than him. So I'm trying to figure out, like, he was already married. He lost his wife. Why would he then not date that age range when he was dating, doing that before and it worked well for him? Why would he go up in numbers? And he has said that he's done it. He's tried it. And it just hasn't worked out. But this is, I mean, this is what I'm saying. Women don't think about logic. 
They don't. They don't do. They don't use logic. Man, adopt a puppy because <laughs> women these days we running shit and it's just men have a hard time you know coming into a house with a woman that makes money some men feel the need that they have to fight for you know masculinity of the house and and that's not true because when it comes to when you're done dating and you go step into the married round it's a business period and you need my income and your income so we can come together and make sense perfect sense not just you know because I, I you know through my experience when you deal with a man that leave with money and how much he make he's trying to control you men that leave with money and shit that that's control and a lot they get young girls 20. <laughs> they get them because you know they like they come out of the daddy phase and they still want to be taken care of and managed but when you are a grown woman and your eyes are open honey i promise you you're gonna want a man you're, you're gonna want one <laughs> what he said he didn't want to take nobody over 30 because they have kids, they have baggage, they're scarred. Oh, he's like, bullet holes. You have bullet holes, sir. And you look at, <laughs> and, 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 and oh. honestly, <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm dead serious he was, because he was clearly reporting live from a mobile home. You saying you own properties and doing all this oh stuff. Oh, my you, God. You, you clearly was reporting live from my. Mobile. Nah, you he was reporting live from Bumfuck, Mississippi. They oh my gosh. <laughs> no, nah, seriously. And you coming on here with all these women from all across the world. It's not my fault you haven't left Mississippi and you don't know what else is out here. <laughs> You're not gonna buy a woman a, a subway sub and be like, Oh, I'm the man of the house, I fed you. That's not baby. I want filet mignon and whatever that whatever else the five star restaurants is serving. And, and quite frankly, he said he got two foreigns. I think he gonna and, give me that. Yeah, make model. <laughs> yeah, make model. He actually could have showed us the keys, and we would have. Oh just, my god! Known, once he would have showed the keys, I would have known from there. <laughs> oh my! Well, listen. I appreciate y'all checking in. Um, <laughs> hey, get your hands up. Do you have Do you have any comments to what? yeah there you go shame shaming the guy all he he had a preference of what he was looking for had a preference and let's just shame the guy for it right you know he ain't got this he ain't got that i just never understood that and you know even the last lady in the last video i didn't have the only thing that i sat there and laughed about was she was talking about a motherly, uh, a nurturing man and someone that's that was raised raised by you know ha what she say I don't even know how she even said it. That was how ridiculous it was. She don't have an understanding of how men are. That's not a man. That's not a man. You looking for basically a feminine man, which is what she's been used to dating. That's why she's in the situation she's in now with two baby daddies. But anyway, we ain't gonna get into that. But. <laughs> oh my god that's so funny but yeah this is a but again i didn't have no issue with the type of guy that she was looking for i think that what she was saying was well, she said saying a whole lot but basically what she was saying is not out the ordinary uh, i think she's pretty open which is good at what she was looking for but i mean men went in the comment section talking about she was unrealistic the only thing that men I think that man was basically talking about was the, the accountability aspect lying to us about the the child's you know having different dads that to me is a red flag anyway and i can say there was some other red flags even in the beginning that didn't make sense to me the whole divorce thing the way she was trying to explain the whole divorce that no that's a red flag that's the only thing that i got on through about but as far as what she was looking for she wanted what she wanted. I mean, I think that what she was wanting wasn't really clear. And that's one of the, her, it's going to be her downfall. But like I said, there are women that like, they want a man that has six figures, six feet, and that's fine. But you need to understand what those men want. And that's where the problem lies. But yeah, shame, let's shame the guy. I just wanted y'all to see that. This is what men, so when men have preferences, they get shamed for it. It's crazy. Let's see what this is a guy. Let's see what he's talking about. What Michael was saying. I mean, he just he didn't know how to articulate himself. If you want me to be honest. Okay. What did you think he was trying to say? What he was trying to say is, 
men as men, we the protectors and providers. So when a woman comes off as if she don't need a man, it's it, it's usually her speaking financially. If I'm wrong, shoot me down. But I'm thinking that's what she's talking about when she says she don't need a man. So it comes off a little turn offish when it comes to us because we like we don't even we're not even thinking about your money, honey. Like so a lot of that, yeah, like a lot of men feel like if you put in the position to where to be a man, so your woman is automatically, if she makes less than you, you're going to do whatever you can to provide because you love her and you like her and all of that. But giving that shoe to a woman, and we already heard how they feel. They're not messing with a dude who make less than them. Yeah. They're not lessening their lifestyle yeah. to support him too. So, I mean, I understand what he's saying. We coming in it, and you know what we represent already. So why talk about money or that you don't need a man in in the sense of a financial is what I'm saying, is what I'm you thinking. Know, I think that's true, though. I, I do think when most women say they don't need a man, they are talking about finances because right. they're in a position to financially take care of themselves. And you're saying that as a man, you want to still, like, you're not thinking about the finances because you're going to, Probably you want to. You're gonna be the leader, regardless of what she's exactly. Exactly. We wanna. We wanna come take care of you. Like that's a man's job. That's how I feel personally. But you know to take care of your woman. So it. it you know it, it's a little turn offish when a woman just we, we uh, not understanding. No, I understand what they're going through. Black women. Don't get me wrong. I understand. Like so, I understand. You know the reasons why they might say it, but I think it's context to it too. Because if he talking about some women just in the club or some doing their thing, like you ain't, you know what I mean? Versus her speaking directly to you, saying I don't need a man for nothing. That's different. So I think he may be coming off from what he's seeing in public or on social media. I don't necessarily think he probably had that conversation with a woman where she just told him that. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know. Fair enough. Well, I appreciate your assessment. I wanted to get a guy. We had a woman and a guy that both commented on what he said. So thank you so much. Right. Hi. Okay, peeps. I just, listen, listen to me. I just want you to see the difference between how a woman reacted to his video and a man reacted to his video. And again, we go straight to the whole shaming aspect, right? Talking about the guy, shaming him because he has a preference. And then you got the guy's perspective who's just basically saying that, hey, there's a section that I think was misunderstood. This is what he really meant. But there was no shaming from the guy. And the guy was right. Men, that's what men are about. Men want to take care of the woman, right? That's just how we were programmed. But when you have a woman who's sitting here talking about I'm a independent, I don't need no man, we're just kind of like, well, then why why am I here? You don't need no man, go elsewhere. Like those got, but the thing is, those same women, they're sitting here talking about how they don't need a man and all this and that. So when they get into these uh, situationships, whatever they they call them or they have flings or whatever. They get upset and mad about that. Or when they do find a guy, they're upset and mad because a guy decided to just, he only wanted sex with her. And uh, what I don't understand is why they're even getting mad in the first place because you don't need no man, remember? So what, you think a man's going to be in a relationship with you and you don't even need him? That doesn't make sense. And then like the brother said, you know, if the woman makes 50K and you ain't making 30, she's going to want you to make more than her. And if you don't, then she's going to go elsewhere. Whereas we don't give a flip. We don't care if you make 100K. We don't care if you're making $10 a year. That's not, your money doesn't mean anything to us. And it never has. And even in my past relationships, I have never cared about a woman's money. Ever. Never. But I want y'all to see that, 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 but that goes to show you the, the, the mindset of women. You know, when we say we have a preference, we get shamed for it. So when women have preferences, you won't see that same energy unless they're just talking nonsense. And then we'll at least try to talk to them and reason with them. And then, Hey, don't you, don't you think that that's a little unrealistic? 
but we don't shame the woman for it. But you know, I digress. But yeah, this is our the problem with our community. And I think it's not just with black women, it's with all women, period. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'm about to get some sleep. <laughs> so y'all take care. I'm out. Peace. And I am gone.